So I'm going to show this video and use the Fair Use Act to do so because there's this uh, blind person, this Gene Hawks that goes around and tries to claim everybody that no one knows what they're talking about, about these false prophets. So this video is going to prove everything that I've said about Robin Bullock. And again, I use this under the, the Fair Use Act. Pay close attention to what he says. And this was on Elijah's streams just in the recent days. Sacrifices involved. Baal worship is present. It's always that way. And when Pharaoh, uh, Moses, the prophet, faced Pharaoh, the scripture says when he threw down his rod, it became a tannin in Hebrew, a tannin. On the mountain in front of the burning bush, it became a nakash, which is a serpent, a oh. snake. But in front of Pharaoh, it became a tannin. What's that? A jackal. Okay, everybody. So clearly what you heard him say that Moses threw down his staff in front of Pharaoh. And if you yourself go to Exodus chapter 7, verse 10, you will see that it was not Pharaoh that threw down his staff. It was his brother Aaron. See that Robin Bullock didn't even know this. And he is supposedly a long term time minister and didn't even know this simple fact, which proves not only is he not a prophet, but he's not even a, a good uh, minister of God because he doesn't know the word. Now, the more important part, as I revealed in a previous video, what he's saying that Exodus 7 in Hebrew, he says that Exodus 7 verse 10 states it was a tanim, and it doesn't say that. It says it, it, it was a tanin. And see that he got that totally confused. It's the M versus the N. And what Tanim means is jackal. But that's not what the Bible says. That's not what that verse says. It says Tanin, which means serpent. And he clearly stated jackal. So he didn't even know that. He doesn't know even that. What he got confused is <clears throat> what it teaches in, in Genesis about the Tanim. Understand, Tanin is serpent in its singular form, and Tanim is serpents in its plural form. So you see, not only is he not a prophet, he's not, he doesn't even know the scripture. He knows absolutely nothing. So if he doesn't even know the scripture, he's absolutely not a prophet. So Watch it again and listen for, for yourselves once again. Sacrifices involved. Baal worship is present. It's always that way. And when Pharaoh, uh, Moses, the prophet, faced Pharaoh, the scripture says when he threw down his rod, it became a tanim in Hebrew, a tanim. On the mountain in front of the burning bush, it became a nakash, which is a serpent, a oh. snake. But in front of Pharaoh, it became a tannin. What's that? A jackal. So there you go, Mr. Gene Hawks, long, another longtime minister that blocks everybody's comments on his channel because he's a scared little man that is just like Robin Bullock, who doesn't even know what the scripture says, that it was Aaron from Exodus chapter 7, verse 10, that threw down his staff, not Moses. And also, it, it is not a... Sacrifices involved. It is not a tanim. It's always it's that a way. It's a tanim. You can Pharaoh, check it out uh, Moses, yourself. The prophet, faced Pharaoh, in the, the Hebrew script. scripture, that it clearly spelled tanin, which means serpent, not tanim. Where he got confused is from the word tananim, which is serpents in plural. So, yet again, just another proof that not only is Robin not a prophet, but he's also not even a good minister. He doesn't even know the word of God. Pay attention, people. The truth is being revealed about the false prophets. God bless.